Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to you, Akim, that's pushing this word in sincerity. And in truth, uh, back with another lesson. And I just got done uh, working out. And uh, <laughs> while I was working out, uh, a song came on. All right. A song by an artist called Little Mouse Get Smoked. All right. Get Smoked. Now, I'm bringing this up because uh, the person that produced the beat for this uh, song was a guy that used to be in GMS Chicago who went by the name of Taziadia. All right. And after hearing that song, which has a, uh, a adult beat, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it just had me think. I put the spirit on me to do this lesson, man. Basically, what is your price? All right. What is your price? Because uh, when you're in this truth, man, a lot of things uh, can pull you away from this truth. And when I go into the guy, Tazi Adia, which is a lot of brothers that grew up with that guy in the camp that knew, knew him a lot better than me. But when I was around him, when I uh, uh, saw how he moved, even uh, went to his crib one time, and, you know, met his mom and he was producing and showed me how he do the shit. Uh, <clears throat> he was very talented, right? He is very talented. He can really, uh, he's good at what he do. He make beats, right? And he had, have had some success, right, in the world doing that. But at the end of the day, uh, I've seen a lot of men follow up this truth for a lot less, man. <laughs> a lot less. Man that fell out of this truth uh, ain't for a bitch, a, a job, uh, wanting a to go to the club, all right? Not wanting to feed the sheep for me, uh, various uh, reasons, you know, other than, let's say, in having a, a so-called success in the world. All right. I've seen a lot of men fall out for a lot less. So the question, once again, is what's your price, man? What is your price? Because at the end of the day, uh, this truth, this knowledge, this faith of Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai is so valuable. And you must realize that uh, you're going to have to uh, sacrifice. You're going to have to lose. And a lot of guys just aren't willing to keep losing. All right. So guess what? They lose patience. You see? So the first scripture uh, I'm going to start with is the book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 28. It says, for which of you intend to build a tower, sitteth not down first and counteth the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it. All right. It says, less happily after he have laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him. Right? So, it's this uh, topic of fallouts, guys getting disenchanted has been more heavier and hotter as uh, they, the prophecies go on and on and on, man. Because this is the wrong time <clears throat> to be getting weaker. We should be getting stronger, man. All right. And like I said, I've seen guys fall out for a lot less, man. All right. I probably in post-production will put a picture of the guy, uh, Taziadia, with uh, producer Scott Storch, man. And this guy's a multimillionaire. And to be in the room with him uh, shows the credibility of this guy's talent, man. All right. But like I said, I've seen guys fall out for a lot less, man. All right. His best uh, running mate, Nazariah. <laughs> hey, he's out the door for a lot less, right? But at the end of the day, all of it is worth dung because they truly don't have the understanding of uh, the knowledge of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. The little riches, the little success, the things that you get now is is temporal. But enduring through the challenges, enduring through the poverty, enduring through the lack, enduring through the want, and putting away. Uh, what you think you should be doing in this life, <clears throat> right? The pride of life, putting those things away uh, and enduring through a this straight gate 
is going to pay off and have a great reward. But you must truly believe that, man. So a lot of times the Lord will bring guys into these into the truth to, 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 to pose for an example, man. And this guy is a perfect example because you got guys that was in the NFL that, hey, get out the NFL and guess what? They're doing this truth. They're doing this knowledge, man. They're pushing this word, right? So you have a, a you see, you have a balance there, man. All right? You have a balance there because the Lord is always going to bring the most sincere, uh, his chosen, a hey, through any temptation, man, through any problem. Right? Let's keep going. It says, let me read it again. Luke 14, 29. Like, happily after he hath laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it began to mock him, saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king going to make war against another king sit if not down first and consulteth whether he's able to able with 10,000 to meet him and come up against him with 20,000? Or else while the other is yet a great way off, he sent up an ambassage and desire of conditions of peace. So, as the uh, apostles, especially Apostle uh, Gabar always states, you got to know what you're involved in, what you're getting into, man. All right? Because this is a, a this thing is a, a forever type of covenant. Because if you drop the plow, if you turn your back, if you walk back into the world to chase uh, your dream, <laughs> so, so you got to stand. Uh, hey, that's it, man. Right? That's it. And the guy, he got talent, but he wasn't willing to count the cost. And he wasn't willing to forsake, man. All right? And I've seen guys fall out for a hell of a lot less. <laughs> All right? Verse 33. So likewise, whoever he be of you that forsaketh not all that he have, including your talents, including your abilities, man. All right? <clears throat> Because there's guys even within the camp today, hey, a lot of talent, man. A lot of skills could have been doing a lot of things. But guess what? They stopped that and they went into the path of Yahweh Hashem. So you understand. It says, So likewise, whoever he be of you that forsaketh not all that he have, he cannot be my disciple. And that's really, uh, hey, this, this, this scripture right here, man. It's going to ring truer and truer and more important, import, more important and more important every day as uh, the society moves into uh, the beast system, man, where it cuts off basically everybody who is not ready and willing to sell out to this system to just have some crumbs, man, to be able to buy and sell, right, to be to be able to be comfortable so you can understand. Because those days are, are, are ahead of us, man. All right? Let's keep going. Let's get uh, Hebrews 11 and 24. It says, By faith Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of the Most High than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. So coming to this thing... Uh, especially as a young man, hey, it can be difficult at times, man. Right? It can be difficult at times. But we have examples in the scriptures, <clears throat> especially of Moses, who being in Pharaoh's house, having a everything you could ever desire and want. What did he do, man? He he left it all. We're reading about it, man. He 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 chose to suffer affliction, right, with the people of the Lord, then enjoy that pleasure. To enjoy those riches, a, a to enjoy that admiration, man, right? And like I said, I've seen people fall out for a lot less, man, right? <laughs> and like I said, this guy he actually had some talent. I've seen other guys, man, a. But at the end of the day, through the spirit, a those guys ultimately were called but not chosen. Verse twenty six: Esteeming the reproach of the Yahweh Shai greater richest in the treasures in Egypt for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward right and ultimately even uh, he, that Taziadia guy right he didn't have respect unto the reward which uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai promised to his elect he'd rather have the bag the money on this side 
right now. Hey, he wanted it right now, man. He didn't have that patience. Verse uh, 27, by faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Right. So we endure. You should endure. Right. Because temptations could come in all sorts in what sorts of ways, man. Kids, children, wives, uh, the opportunity to, to make a significant amount of money, all of these things can be a stumbling block if you're not grounded and rooted. Uh, let's go into the book of 1 Timothy and 6, verse 6 and 5, man. Because uh, a success in money a lot of times is what? A stumbling block. All right? So I'm going to uh, finish off uh, in this chapter. This is 1 Timothy 6 and 5. Perverse disputings of man of corrupt minds destitute of the truth supposing that gain is godliness from such withdraw thyself but godliness with contentment is great gain and that's one of the hardest things uh, for people in the truth especially guys who got talent right they can go market and make money off that talent on a high level you see uh, it's the contentment man it's the contentment right but to fully submit yourself under the yoke of your Habashim El Shai, you have to be content, man. You have to be able to walk away from the world. You have to be able to uh, be willing to lose all these uh, earthly so-called p- p- uh, possessions, which really ain't shit at the end of the day once you really understand it, man. All right? Once you really have the conviction and the faith <clears throat> that what the Lord is going to bring, hey, it's going to be way colder than uh, anything that the left hand side or the or the a, the devil Satan on the earth right now can give you. Uh, verse seven: For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, raiment, let us there uh, there will be content. But they that will be rich fall into temptation, and they snare, because to get certain things in this in this world, man. Especially on a certain level, and you got you gotta sell out, man. You gotta push the vibration of the world, which is complete wickedness. Right? You gotta hold your tongue, even though uh you see things that are wayward, that are off, right? You know, you you see guys, uh you see people on TV, you see people on the radio, or hear people on the radio, in movies, actors, actresses, uh entertainers. They can only say so much, man. And if they say too much, they get removed from certain spots. They don't get certain castings, right? Their music get put put on the shelf, all right? So, like I said, man, those that will be rich uh, fall into temptation and a snare. And in many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown man in destruction and perdition. So, hey, that's pretty much the point. You got to ask yourself in the truth, man, what's your price, man? What's your price? What are you willing to lose? Right? What are you willing to fight for? Do you really believe this is it? <laughs> Cause there ain't no there is no plan B. There is no plan B really at the end of the day. Alright? We are in the hands of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And we must uh truly acknowledge and know that, man. Alright? Because we're on that path. And we have destruction all around us, man. And if we don't keep our eyes sing- uh, singular, focused, uh, hey, anything can pull us uh, pull us away. All right? So uh, hey, continue to fight the good fight. I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Shalom the next time.